What's up, guys? This is Sullivan Adams giving you a new live reaction and featuring My Hero Academia uh, Season 2, Episode 13. If you guys watched my last video, it's basically talking about how I binge watched Season 1 and just watched the hell out of it. I was only half of Season 2. I decided to stop binge watching entirely and decided to live react the rest of the se Season 2 and maybe Season 3. Because season three, you know, has a long arc, you know, twenty-five episodes, you know, you know, and 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 Academy is getting a season four this year. It shows how much of a huge success. If you want to hear my opinion on it, you should go. I'm gonna click, up, put a link in this video for my. What do I think of My Hero Academy? You know, uh, especially with the emotion and what happens. You know, uh, it's better if you guys watch for yourselves. You know, me as a fan speaking. You know, you know. Uh, I really enjoyed the ride, and I think you guys probably feel hot. Well, especially with the emotion and what's happening, you know. I feel want to see these characters develop more, and I also want to share my thoughts with you on um, what you think. You know, I'm also doing this now because you notice I haven't done this in a long time. I'm not since the fall, just because I've been focusing more on my schoolwork and, le and less on my uh, my channel, you know. Oh, I decided to take a break, but I'm going to keep... Being a YouTuber as best I can, even commenting on videos, giving my honest opinion. I, for one, want to keep on uh, showing you, you how well I enjoy anime, how I love it. And anyway, let's get back. This is episode uh, 13 of season 2. After they just went to the UA Sports Festival, after the emotion, after Deku really wrecked his hands. And, you know, uh, had the emotions of, of, of Todoroki he, and what he's going to do next. Uh, Bakugo is still reeling for the fact that, that he won, even though you know, Todoroki wasn't giving it everything he had. So, uh, anyway, let's get started on the video right now without any problems. Anyway, let's continue. Let's get going. Okay. A lot of and we are regular classes again today. And that, that's, that's what. Look at how bandaged up his hair. Excuse me. Or it's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Bakugo. Uh, that's funny. Bakugo. Uh, with the metal in his mouth because he refused to accept it. You know, you gotta love me, do Minoriya, because now that he's been, he should know what he got at the first one. He did his absolute best, but he wasn't trying to do his best and as to like try to be Minoriya. He was trying to save Todoroki because Todoroki was going to a horrible burden. Todoroki, Todoroki had this huge burden on his shoulders. Like we all, if you know about Todoroki's history that his father is Endeavor, the, the flame hero who's second only to All Might, and there was a tragic past between him and his family, like, it's about his father's behavior and what he did to her mother, it was horrible, basically, he, like, that kind of abuse as a child to take, like, he's basically the definition of a hero backstory, and this is Midori, that's who, um, you can see that in the short color up, he wants to prove himself a hero, but he doesn't want to follow his father's example. I, for one, like his character as the way he is, showing how headstrong and how tough he is. I also like to see how some of the other characters progress from, with, with Corridor. I think one character I want to see he continue to move forward is going to be is Tenya Ida. He's the brother of Ingenium, a pro hero. I want to see how he handles uh, with his development. I heard spoilers, fortunately, because we live in the age of the internet now, uh, and memes and spoilers. I think he has he goes through well in his life in his progression, you know. Only morning, but I'm already tired. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I walk into so late. You can tell he's very passionate when it comes to his approach. That's one of the things I like about his character. You have the passionate, headstrong character that wants to be the best hero he is. Okay. I apologize for making you worry. Time to pick a name. Pick some names. All right. 
It's definitely wrong. Okay. So many people think you need to. I like that Justin Cook plays his voice actor uh, in the English stuff. The guy with the red hair. You know, hardly. Chapter one, there was thrust into the spotlight. Yeah. I mean, they did, they did kick ass on TV. Oh, uh, here this guy is, you know, uh, Eraserhead. That's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, lady, follow my tree, man. Recovery girl. I like her because she's like the fun, she's like the, she's like the grandma that I think they all need. That's what I like about her. But I'm bad at law. Bad at law. Okay. Code names. Yep. We're going to do something exciting. So there's a chance they all could be drafted after the second to third years. Yeah, prove yourself through hard work, right? Offender, Bakugo, Aida. Another year, it reminds me of our eyes of these two. Uh, those those guys, like I said in my last video, were the MVPs of them. You got so many offers, they're so popular. He did do his body to the breaking point. Remember, there was a lot of people criticizing him. Hey, Izuku, because he used his body too much. Remember, he's not allowed to use his power to the full limit yet. Interesting. I think her experience commenting real really. That's true. She froze. Basically, it's like outdoor field experience training. I, go, I, I, like, I like this a lot. Those things are still temporary. I'm serious about it. Hey, time to pay later. Oh, this lady, the bondage chick, midnight. Yeah, midnight. Yeah, yeah. That's how it is. Oh, there was that. Oh, yeah, that's that microphone guy. Eraser. I'll go with that. So, Trey so went with Eraser because his friend at school just suggested it. <laughs> Talk about an unimaginative guy. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate Mr. Aizawa. It's just, you know. I'm My hero name. Just pick Deku, that's the Billion's good name. Even though it's a nickname that your friend gave you a teasing, you know. He's still sleeping in the damn sleeping bag. Oh, this guy. Okay. I cannot stop talking. <laughs> Yeah. Alien Queen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Bro. 
drop it. Yeah. <laughs> Red right. Well, that guy looks badass. I like his outfit, especially the mask. Crimson Riot, huh? All right. For that. So cool. Red Riot and Crimson Riot. Yeah, I love his mom and stuff. My T boy. Oh my junior. No no no. My team. Captain. It's a little cute that his mom is always cheering him on. I remember he went to that depression state, you know, where he kept crying all the time. No. His pop. Yeah. Name like there's no way you can take out the Hemingway? Shit. Yeah. Tentacle. His ability is called Dupla Arm, so yeah. Seller, Seller. Hell no. Shit, I'm Create everything is going create shelter. Sukiyama, first grape juice, anime, <laughs> King Explosion Murder. King <laughs> weird hair. <laughs> oh man. My turn. Gravity. Gravity, yeah. He's probably gonna pick a name like you know. I already know what his name is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, because he was attacked by the hero killer. So He loves his brother very much and idolizes him. Like his whole family are pro heroes. Now his brother just revealed that he lost the use of his legs. That means he's probably going to take up the mantle of him. That's that's probably very that's an honorable decision. Kenya. Using a name. With that, his name. No, he chose Deku. Impact on me, yeah. 
for us, we have to, yeah, Decker, yeah. Yeah, cement house. Yeah, I like that girl. Ah, yeah. This person is Lord Explosion Murder. I bet he's probably gonna go with Emperor or just Murder all the time or Killer or something like that. That's what I'm gonna go with. He's probably gonna kiss you. I just love how oh, Bakuko because how over exaggerated his personality and how. Saying his temper. Thirteen will be forced to rescue and do disasters. Yeah, and then fighting. Sorry to pause it. So basically, given their abilities, they could be assigned different job requirements in, in certain fields. Like, for example, they just said that their teen herself, uh, she does rescue work, uh, basically hauling debris and stuff like that. So given their abilities, they could be used to use rescue work. I still remember that one guy from the first season of My Hero Academia. He was a fireman, yeah. So, yeah. And, and his ability to... He was basically a rescue hero, so... I for one like to see something like that happen. I hope that I can get that to replace the floods. And then you're for the weekend. Basically they're gonna choose which assignment field assignment they're gonna be a part of. Okay. The hero analogy. What's that? <laughs> she had a big mountain lady. That lady is just a huge walking mountain of fan service. Mother, 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 mother. I was lost in there. Not to hear a gunhead. Offer something. Ultimately, yes. Okay, she's want to sharpen her skills first. So that's where she's going to go here. Okay, no more. I'll be okay. Okay. All right. I see. What? That's it. Thing. That's it. Yeah, you have to work on controlling it for Tanya wants to follow his brother and Jedium. So he's probably gonna change his name again. Mm-hmm. Ida, he's gone. Oh my Was it yes, yes. Yeah. He was probably, it's probably because of the reaction he got from the thing. Grand Trun. He was your teacher? He was his teacher, okay. Okay.
He's fanboying out. What's one thing? It's an animal. Sorry. Okay. He is, he is, yeah, he is shaking. Okay, yeah. Just, he scares the crap out of all, man. He's probably definitely scary. <laughs> Like eat Tenya, like he's he still wants to be like his brother. Now that his brother's gonna be officially retired due to injury, you know. I for one I for one wanna see more of Tenya and his determination. And remember this is just a, not just a school, it's a way to for students to fulfill their dreams of becoming the next big hero. And they all wanna be horror heroes. I mean he got a devastating call from his mother. His mother was the one who told him that and that his brother was is my hero. You got an offer. Either. Right about is it? Yeah, he is. Copper has been. Yes, yes, that's the guy. His name is Stain, I think. Yeah, that dude is psycho. He can't have the face of the Joker. He's probably relieving him. Didn't say anything. Yeah, he didn't say anything because he didn't want him to hurt him. Oh man, don't tell me he's gonna try to find clues what happened to his brother. Oh man, that would be messed up. If he confronted Stain, and since he's turning into a brother, he's probably gonna make it personal, you know? You know, if he finds out what happened to his brother and find out it was a hero killer, he's probably gonna fight Stain and fight. It's, 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 we don't know what the. Mind your mind, heroes of your interest. Yeah. yeah. He's probably gonna confront him about it. Mm. They're still gonna maintain a bit of friendship. Oh my god. So this is gonna be like his path to darkness. Uh, I always I like this song in season two. Oh I always like because the first ones we did the opening of most of the guys, yeah, some of the girls had some cameos. I I like the theme of this, you know. Uh it was an intense, intense moment. Like I can see the look on his face. The next chapter of his life for Ida, he's probably going to try to take his brother's place as Ingenium. But he's also going to probably go through a whole lot of problems. Like, for example, his desire for power and try to be the best is probably going to make sure nothing stands in his way. That means it's going to cost him a big, big, big deal for him and his friends. Like, this is one of those moments probably in comic books or movies or whatever where your best friend you know parts from you. Oh, and probably becomes like led to a him making a very very big decision that will affect the lives of not only himself but everyone around him. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. 
I just like how all the girls are just like the MVPs in this video. All the guys are literally eating their dust. <laughs> Example. <laughs> Just love the song. Train, okay. Train, train. He's probably gonna put him to. He's probably gonna either be the Master Roshi type, I, the Weiss type, or some kind, some other form of quick mentor. Building. He lives in an apartment building. Match. He's dead. I'm alive. And he screams. Time to read now. Okay. Oh shit, Steam's back. Okay. Oh man, he's gonna go up to him. Oh man. I really love, I'm not getting this preview. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This got me excited. I just love the way, that th how they handled it, and the way it felt. Like, because for me, hey, this was a good story progression, you know? Because I love how they handled it. Because they continue on with what happened next time. No time skip, you know. And I knew that this was probably going to be the next chapter in their lives. I also, I want to see what happens next, in my opinion. What do you think is, uh, I mean, it's obviously a Gran Torino is going to train the hell out of Midoriga. Since he knows this quirk all too well, since he knows about All Might and he trained him. That means he's probably going to handle this situation way, way way disproportionate to his body. If I were to picture in my mind what would the training be, it's kind of like how Master Roshi trained Goku and Krillin, putting those heavy turtle shells on their back uh, to limit their mobility but also increase their strength. And, and you know, that was kind of me, one of my favorite Dragon Ball moments that he used it. You know, Kami did the same thing, giving Goku heavy clothes. Piccolo did the same thing. Damn, even we... Hey, he strapped on heavy waist, severe um, weights to their, bounding their hands and feet, and they had to move in this weird, it dog, all fours position. That was gotta be the most hilarious one. I for one, am hope I for one is gonna enjoy this because I want to see how they handle the situation well. Because Midoriya, comes to his situation and his powers, it's definitely not gonna end well. Well, given his position and what we're dealing with, uh, especially with the hero killer stain, what's going on, um, they definitely got a lot, a lot of problems uh, way ahead of them. And I, for one, can't wait to see, can't wait to see how they do it. I want to see what more could happen next, because in my opinion, it's going to be an epic ride, because the series has been good so far. Uh, I can imagine why. I mean, I mean, I enjoyed the series. One of being, I got one of the characters I'm really dying to see the dramatic changes is Ida, because knowing that his brother was ki nearly killed and now he's going to be retired due to injury, he's definitely going to take his place. It's going to be personal for him because he he idolized his brother. His brother was his hero, and now his brother is in this horrible condition. And you know, like I said, it's going to be one of those hero breaking, make or break moments. It's going to define someone, and that's definitely. Like, and remember, this is basically a parody of comic books, superheroes and stuff. And this seems like one of those moments where you, he's going to do to make one major step forward into embracing his true destiny. <laughs> oh, man. I, for one, liked all the other episodes because they were very good. But I enjoyed, um, for, for, uh, for, for, for all, this was a good episode, you know. <laughs> I liked the bit at the end where... <laughs> Izuku means Gran Torino, and he's just like this crazy old man. Looks like there's blood on the floor. There's blood on the floor. I bet you it's, it's probably going to be something funny like juice or something. 
Hey, or he coughed up blood like All Might does. It's probably going to be either blood or juice. I'm going with juice. Because <laughs> because they do a lot of funny things that are basically memes at this point, you know? So, I for one can't wait to see how they have... See how they do it, and how they handle it, you know. I can't wait to see how they handle this situation, you know. Now, Uraga, she's going to go with a gun hand, and because when she fought Bakugo, she realized she's not a combat type. She wants to be a rescue hero like 13, but she's not a combat type, you know. You know all the other heroes, like, for example, the Great Juice is going to Mount Lady. Oh, so he can just perv out all he wants, Hans, you know. Um, uh, uh, Red Riot, he's gonna go, go to go work with Crimson Riot. I really like the look of that Crimson Riot, dude. He looked badass. Kind of like a combination of Spawn and the Crow. Kind of like one of those dark anti-heroes like Azrael. Like a, tr uh, and he has, and his power, you know, oh, hardening. I, I can't wait to see how they do, you know, him, you know. Oh, Sue, 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 Sue Asui as Froppy. And, you know, she's gonna, gonna go. And then there's Bakugo. Who's gonna probably gonna go by the name Explosion Boy, but but he go he always add murder, murder, murder. He's probably gonna go with put, fill out one more name. It's probably gonna be murder. <laughs> probably gonna be. It's definitely gonna be murder or explode murder or something. And you know, because he always adds like die, 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 die or something like that. I really like how they make his character so over the top. You know, that's one. Of, that's one of my favorite things about this his character. You know, oh how over the top. How crazy and how funny he is, you know? That is my favorite part, you know? <laughs> For me, I want to see the success of his character, uh, you know? So I want to see how they handle his character well. Especially how very funny. And this is their first chance to become heroes by interning. And this is just their first year. Next, and so I can't wait to see what happens next. Hope you enjoy. See you guys. This is all about. See you next time. All right. Bye.